Hi Capricorn, welcome to your June Love Connection reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. This is intended for someone you believe you have a connection with, whether you're together or not. That is okay, as long as you definitely have to know each other. Um, if you are single and you're wondering about that energy, I do have single readings on my channel. You can check that out also if you like to. That may resonate for you also. You find the links to your playlist down below in the description box, Love in General. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. So if you would like a private reading, uh, that information is also below in the description box. Tons of stuff down there, so please feel free to check that out. Uh, please only take it how it resonates for you. Not every little thing may resonate here. Please keep that in mind. If it's not making sense for you, it's not your reading. Please don't try to make it fit. It could be past, present, or future also. And you can switch and flip-flop the energies around as you see fit also. So let's see what we have for Capricorn. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And if you're new, you can check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. And uh, if you do subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And you get about four to five readings a month, and they're all different. So you can check that out. And if you do subscribe, thank you, and welcome to the family. Okay, Capricorn. This is a Zodiac um, Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. And then with this oracle here, this is the Magdalene Oracle. It's a new oracle for me. We will pull an opening love message on your connection, and then we'll get one for you, one for your person, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. Another for the mutual energy between you. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot, and then get more into the situation with the tarot. Advice, possible outcome, energy at the bottom of the deck, and then we'll get some extra messages with the angel answers. So let's see what we have for Capricorn of this time. Someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective of Capricorn. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Sign, element, or planet for Capricorn at this time. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus. So I'm feeling that one. Let's see what we have. We have Earth, and that's your energy. So it could be a fellow Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. If not, doesn't have to be, but... Earth is a very um, practical energy. It's uh, grounding, it's stable, it's sturdy, it's growth, it's abundance, it's about taking your time, it's about not rushing kind of energy also. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. It's about growth and abundance, very nurturing uh, kind of energy also. All right. Planting the seeds of prosperity. Planting a seed and watching it grow. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn in love at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much for the collective. Someone rising Venus, male or female. Let's see what's going on. Let's get an opening message on Capricorn and their person. Who are they thinking about at this time? For this reading... Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the opening message? Energy on Capricorn in their person. There we go. Well, we have transformation. So something in this connection could be transforming. Maybe taking, you know, it's time with the earth energy. Maybe a slow process. But it's stable. It's grounded. And you see the butterfly there, which does represent transformation. And every... You know, an earth is uh, fall energy. You know, in every fall, you know, everything kind of goes away, but then it always transforms. It comes back in the spring. So something is transforming here. Could be a rebirth, renewal, regeneration. All right, so let's see what's going on. Capricorn. Capricorn, I'm going to put you here and your person here. If any time you feel like the energy is reversed, please do that. Oh, that's two. I want one for Capricorn's person. How are they feeling about Capricorn at this time? In this connection spirit, please. For the general collective. Thank you so much. One for Capricorn's person. Feeling this one. Take the bottom of the deck for the mutual energy. Let's see what we have. Capricorn. We have confusion. So we're confused about this connection. <laughs> Not sure, you know, how it's transform transforming. What is it going to transform into? Will it transform? It's taken an awful long time and feeling very confused about this connection in your person. 
and your person has serendipity. So this is about synchronicity. It's about uh, the divine plan, the universe, uh, things happening that are meant to be. We do have the star here, which is divine guidance, um, faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true. So I think your person is just kind of waiting and seeing, you know, whatever happens, happens. If it's meant to be, it'll be, you know. If it's meant to be, the universe is just going to make it happen. I think that's how your person feels. And you're a little confused about that. It's like you want this to kind of transform already. It's been taking long enough, I feel, Capricorn. That's how I think. All right, so let's see what the mutual energy is. Illumination. So you're both waiting, like in this energy of waiting for things to be illuminated in this connection. You're confused by your person, and you're wondering, where is this going? Where is this heading? Is this going to be turning into something more? Is it transforming into a real relationship? Or are we just kind of in limbo here? You know, what's going on? How do they feel? And your person is like, well, if it's meant to happen, it's just going to happen. The universe will make it happen. So they're waiting, like, illumination, like signs, symbols, um, waiting for those serendipitous energies from the universe that'll just make this happen. Wow. <laughs> it's like they see the sign. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, you know, serendipity. All right. So they're just waiting on all that energy. So I feel like they're not really taking action. They're just kind of like, well, if it's meant to be, it'll be. And the universe will just make it happen. And they're waiting on the universe to make it happen. And they're waiting for actual signs from the universe, synchronicities, you know, maybe like running into you on purpose or, you know, on accident or something like that. So, wow. <laughs> wow, kind of a odd energy here, but let's see what's going on, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. I think this has been going on for a while here with that earth energy. It's a very slow moving energy, so it's going to be a very slow moving connection here. Earth is 26, which is 8. I hope this is having, haven't been, hasn't been going on for eight years. That's an awful long time. Eight months, maybe. All right. So Capricorn, you are 10, the energy of 10. So you may be in the energy of like, you know what? This is just taking too long. I feel like we're going backwards instead of forward. So, I mean, you could be in the energy of like, you know, if I don't see this transforming or moving into something deeper, then you may decide, you know, uh, to end this. I don't know. But this could be a very deeply planted connection between the two of you with that earth energy. You know, dip, deeply planted roots that you may not be able to let go of so easily. All right, so Capricorn. Let's see. Let's get two. That's three. All right, feeling these two. Two for your person to clarify this energy. Yep, thank you. And then... Two for the connective energy. Two for the connective energy. One. One more. One more. Please, Spirit for Capricorn. In this connection, one more. That one. All right. Capricorn, you have confusion. Yeah, so you have a Nine of Pentacles and you have the Five of Pentacles. So, I mean, they may have ghosted you. They may have, you know, that in and out energy, not sure what's going on. You know, playing like they're single kind of energy, you know, maybe, you know, you're together, then you're not together, then they act like they're single, that leaves you kind of like abandoned, left out in the cold, like what's going on here. But the Nine of Pentacles is an energy of being stable, secure, grounded, and independent, so I feel like you can take care of yourself anyway. But, uh, and this is Earth energy, this is all your energy. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling that, like energy, like, you know, they come off as they're single, which makes you feel like, okay, so is this over? What's going on here? Like very confused energy. So serendipity for your person. So we have the Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So the Six of Cups energy is past life soulmates. It's soulmate energy. is someone you've known from the past. Um, this is a connection of the past. Um... Are you waiting for a person from the past to return? Or, you know, again, Six of Cups always talks about um, something or someone returning from the past. Soulmate energy, past life energy, nostalgia kind of energy. But the King of Pentacles, it's definitely your energy. That's It's Virgo, but it can be any Earth sign. 
So they're definitely thinking about you, you know, wanting you to return. So if, you know, I mean, I know we're all in quarantine right now, but I feel like they're waiting for this serendipitous, serendipitous sign from the universe, the Six of Cups energy, of waiting of some sort of, like, return or sign or something of you before they are, before anything happens in this connection. That's kind of weird energy they're sitting in, but... Hmm, okay. Or they just feel like, you know, this it was serendipity that brought you together. If it was, if this is somebody from the past, um, that suddenly comes back, or you come back into their lives or something like that. Could have been serendipity, but I'm not really getting that. I'm Because you're confused. They're just like waiting around for, you know, the universe to make it happen to enlighten them and you're waiting for enlightenment from them like what is this transforming into like it's taking way too long here so it's the kind of energy i'm getting so let's see what the mutual energy is so we have the two of wands and we have the six of wands so we have success and victory here so you both want that and then two of wands is that like being at a crossroads but it's also about making plans and decisions for the future so until this total illumination enlightenment uh, clarity in this connection. Uh, we're kind of just like at this crossroads, like not really moving forward yet to the success and victory. So until that happens, until they're clear, you're all clear, the connection is clear, and we can have the success and victory, we're still going to be stuck at this crossroads, and there's not going to be any movement forward. So this can transform. So... I don't know why they would be sitting in this energy of like, well, I'm just going to wait, and if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Uh, they definitely have you in their energy. Or they could be an earth sign too. So, okay, so let's look at the actual situation here, see if we can gain clarity of why we're sitting in this energy. So we have the Knight of Swords energy here, which can be um, Aquarius energy. If I say the sign of whoever you're dealing with, um, that's good. If not, that's totally fine. So now we have the Four of Pentacles. So now we have contradictory energy here. So I feel like this is this in and out energy I felt. The Knight of Swords is rushing ahead quickly, but then the Four of Pentacles is like holding back. So I feel like it's like in and out energy with them. And you're like, what's going on here? You know, you act like you're single. You know, we're together. But then you act like you're single. It's like... They can't make up their mind. It's like they don't know what they want, perhaps. Like they don't know if they want to stay single or be, you know, committed to you or in a relationship with you. So they're waiting from for some sort of sign or symbol or synchronicity from the universe to, like, clarify for them, to confirm to them this is the path that they need to go on. Because the two wants is about deciding on a path also at a crossroads. Wow. Okay. King of Cups. So, yeah, I mean, the King of Cups can be someone who has love and emotions and feelings, but they don't always say how they feel. So maybe this person doesn't always say how they truly feel. So that's that energy of holding back, rushing in, holding back, rushing in, holding back, you know, feeling the love and emotions, but not really saying them. Instead of saying them, they're just pouring them out into the ground. All right, what else here? So now we have the Five of Cups and the Emperor. So the Emperor, you know, is Aries. King of Cups here can be Pisces. So we have the Emperor on their side. Emperor, Empress. So, I mean, um, and King, Queen, doesn't matter. But um, Emperor, Empress, you know, is the energy of someone who takes lead, troll, charge. It's divine masculine energy. But yet this feeling of remorse, regret, sad, lost loneliness. And the Empress. Wow, we have the Empress and the Empress. Empress and the Emperor here. So this is a divine counterpart energy here. Empress energy, which is Libra Taurus. So, I mean, we have masculine feminine, divine masculine, divine feminine right here. It's like they kind of know what kind of connection this is, but yet they keep turning their back on it. Because I feel like they feel like it has to be confirmed to them by the universe that this is their 
that you're their either masculine or feminine or divine counterpart or their soulmate or whatever. It's like they have to have a confirmed sign from the universe. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but I guess that's just how they think. Because the connection's right here on their side. But yet, they're turning their back on it here with the Five of Cups energy. Like they're, sh sh you know, shuttering it off like, eh. You know, until I receive the clarity or a sign from the universe, eh, I'm just going to turn my back on it. Pour the... <laughs> Pour it out of my cup here. Mm, wow. So, let's see here. You know, I'd have to pull, pull more cards to see as to why they would be in this kind of energy, is thinking this way. But let's get some advice, guidance for this connection. Capricorn. Capricorn. So we have the High Priestess and we have the Seven of Wands. So if you're a gut and your intuition and your higher knowing is telling you to fight for this, that's definitely what it's saying there, is to fight for this. It can be about defensive on guard or it can be about fighting for something, but the High Priestess um, kind of keeps to themselves. So maybe energy of like energetically fighting for this, but yeah, keeping to yourself, if that makes any sense. Like using the law of attraction, fighting for it energetically, 5D, but not in like the 3D energy. Because we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So this could lead to the Ten of Pentacles, to, you know, wealth, abundance, prosperity, between two, you know, marriage, commitment, family dynamic, and legacy. The moon. So again... Now we have feminine energy. So not seeing the path clearly. There's some fear. So maybe it's just a fear of this deep, deep connection. Because this can talk about, you know, deep feelings. This is Pisces or Cancer. Deep feelings and emotions. And this is Pisces over here. So the moon can be very, very deep feelings and emotions. Fear. Uh, secrets come into light. So they're waiting to be enlightened on this connection. I think maybe they have fear of such a deep connection. Maybe they never had one like this before. And uh, they're waiting to be illuminated here. The moon energy on this connection. But we do have the king of wands energy here, which could be Sagittarius. So this is, you know, very fiery, passionate. So they definitely is a lot of fire or passion, I feel like here. A go-getter kind of energy. I feel like once they're illuminated and they know for a fact that this is their uh, Ten of Pentacles person, this is their divine counterpart, this is who they're supposed to be with, this is their soulmate, their twin flame, then they're going to come forward as the King of Wands and go after what they want, very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. So whatever sign or synchronicity or serendipitous sign they're waiting for until they receive that, they're not going to come forward just yet. But I feel like they will. So... Somehow something will be illuminated with the moon energy to them. So, I mean, they could receive it in a dream uh, or something. Something will just come to light for them and it'll be like a light bulb boom, going off and then just knowing. All right, so let's get possible outcome for this connection. So we have the star energy. So there's that faith, hope, optimism, a divinely guided energy, uh, healing energy. Wishes and dreams coming true. So we have wishes and dreams coming true. Queen of Swords. This can be Libra. We've got Aquarius there. So to me, this is my divinely guided energy from Source, divine clarity. The sword, you know, Queen of Swords. You know, some people say the Queen of Swords is somebody who's been through a lot. They're divorced. They're widowed. You know, they've been through a lot of struggles and pain. They can be very cutting with the sword. But I don't take the Queen of Swords. I take it as my divine counterpart, divine energy, divine source card, you know, and it's the energy of, you know, standing up, telling it like it is, not backing down, truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving. So the outcome is here, you know, this is divine enlightenment with the star energy in the Queen of Swords, so I feel like this person is going to get their sign they're waiting for. Because you see the divine source here, with the sword up, with the transformational butterfly, transformation there delivering this message that they're waiting for, that they need, whatever that is for them, <laughs> that gives them the clarity. We have the butterflies here. It's like Source has heard their prayer and sending them that, that information that they need somehow. 
So we have the Eight of Swords and the Page of Cups. So again, I feel like coming out of, because you see this woman is being untied from, uh, you know, the ties that bind them mentally, physically, whatever here. And then Page of Cups, now coming forward and being authentic, real this time. There's no fish in the cup, so their feelings in the cup are pure, they're honest, they're true. There's not going to be any back and forth energy. There's not going to be anything fishy with this this time with them coming forward. So I feel like divine here, untying them, unbinding them, getting the clarity they need to untie them from their mind and come forward now with truth and clarity, with affection, you know, love, affection, communication, saying how they truly feel. And I don't think it's going to be fishy this time. I think, you know, it's going to be pure and honest. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, I'm going to take that one too. I'm going to take that one too. Wow. So we have the Four of Swords and the Magician. So again, this is them resting, recuperating, recuperating, rejuvenating, thinking, contemplating. You know, some of them delivering them a message, delivering something to them. There's their message they're getting, enabling them now to manifest a brand new beginning. Again, with confusion, unsure, not sure, you know, waiting for the sign, waiting for the sign that they're waiting for. And then all of a sudden, here's the page of swords. So here's that divine communication, sending them the enlightenment that they need to make the right choice. And what's the choice here? We have commitment, marriage, higher levels of commitment, passionate, fiery, passionate, brand new beginning, divinely guided, chariot energy here, positive movement forward, drive balance, ambition, uh, yin and yang, so feminine, masculine energy, driving this home, driving this forward, this passionate new beginning could lead to commitment, marriage, higher levels of commitment of some kind. So we have the magician there, which is Gemini Virgo. Then we have Taurus, Cancer. So, wow. So that's what I see. I receive this person. I, I receive. See, they are going to receive <laughs> what they're looking for. This person will receive the confirmation about you that they're looking for from the universe. So I don't know, oh, why is that over there? That will enable them to take action. So that one was sitting over there. So I feel like they will be taking action once they receive their sign. And I think this will go very quickly. What From what was very slow, stagnant, it's gonna move forward very quickly once they receive their sign from the universe, whatever that is for them. All right, so let's see here, Capricorn. Let's get some extra messages for you, Capricorn, within the next few weeks. So they could be getting their sign within the next few weeks. What else here for Capricorn spirit, please? Oh, it's way too many. Don't stop. Reconsider. So. So I feel like here with reconsider, this person has probably just been like reconsidering this connection over and over and over and over. But don't stop here. I feel like, you know, this connection isn't going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Helpful people. Again, you see angels, spirit guides. I think those are the helpful people that are going to deliver the signs, peaceful resolution. So I feel like they're going to get the sign that they're looking for and... Finally, things are going to stop moving forward, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.